for that we need sodium vapor lamp you can traveling microscope the same traveling microscope we will be using for non uniform bending also okay and then uh, optically placed glass plate one end of the glass plate it is uh, contact using rubber band and other end we need to place a thin wire okay, it should be placed like this when the light fall on the glass plate we will be getting fringes uh, first what do you need to do is in this traveling microscope the cross wire will be there any one fringe should be fixed exactly at the vertical cross wire after fixing uh, exactly at one fringe you need to note down the reading in the horizontal scale for non uniform bending we have noted down the reading in the vertical scale but for this average we are going to note down the reading in the horizontal scale okay this is our main scale and this is your vernier scale okay for that nth fringe you need to note down the reading in your manual okay, in the corresponding column first note down nth fringe main scale and the vernier scale reading after after noting down nth fringe we need to move this in the clockwise direction okay that is phi rotation you need to okay such that n plus 1 fringe n plus 2 n plus 3 n plus 4 and n plus 5 uh, the fringes will move and the fifth fringe it should be in coincidence with the the cross wire vertical cross wire again for n plus fifth fringe the reading should be noted down in the horizontal scale in the similar way you need to take the reading up to n plus 15 okay after n plus 5 n plus 10 n plus 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 up to 50 you need to note down the reading okay after completing this there is another tabla column the second tabla column in that what we are going to find out is the length the distance between the uh, to the thin wire and the rubber band that we are going to find out using the second tabla column for that first you need to note down the reading of rubber band release this traveling microscope screw okay note down the rubber band reading how to note down the rubber band reading the rubber band should be exactly coinciding with the limit of the vertical cross wire okay so you need to note down the main scale reading and the vernier scale coincidence after noting down the uh, rubber band reading okay slowly you move at the other side okay uh, the thin wire will be displayed there the vertical cross wire again the thin wire should be coinciding okay that particular place you need to note down the main scale reading and vertical scale reading now if you subtract these two values what you are going to get is l okay therefore by substituting the wavelength of a uh, yellow light and then uh, length and from the first tabla column you are going to get the uh, width of one fringe that is beta by substituting all the values you will be determining the thickness of the thin wire 